In the past six months, London has changed a lot. And let's be honest, it was mostly for worse. So many shops have closed down, small businesses are being at risk, and not even to mention how many people lost their jobs or even worse, so many families were affected. As I'm always trying to see things from the bright side, I can tell you that there are less queues for your favorite restaurants or less people in the public transport or best thing ever prices of rent are actually decreasing in London and for example now we are in the middle of Piccadilly Circus and as you can see there isn't almost anyone in here and that's the first time in which I can actually appreciate the city I want to evaluate both the good and the bad sides of this and tell you my honest opinion. Is it actually worth coming to London in 2020 or in the beginning of 2021? Hi guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. I'm super happy and grateful to see you on my channel. On this channel, we talk about traveling and I also give you some tips and insights about life in London. And today is actually the 4th of October and there are only three months left until the end of the year. How would your life be if you come to London as a student? How would it be if you come as a worker? And also what effect did uh, coronavirus have on rent? My friend Flavia will join this video and she will tell us more in depth about her experience. And before we start, I just want to say that I'll be talking specifically about London as this is where I'm living at the moment and I can be the most objective about Did you know that one in seven Londoners is planning to move out of London as a result of COVID-19? Scary, isn't it? And of those who actually wanted to move, only 30% of them are still planning to come in 2020. Financial uncertainty, the cost of moving and the location of work are actually the biggest reasons for those 70% that choose not to move. Like last time we wanted to go to the restaurant behind me, they told us that we have to wait for a queue for six hours and look at it now. Something that I actually find very interesting is that also the taste of people and what they're looking for in your new home has changed. And the importance of having a balcony, having a garden or being close to a park uh, apparently has become a very important factor when choosing your new space. I'm living in central London and I've been paying high rent literally for no reason all lockdown. <laughs> so of course I'm closer to the city center and like to bars and restaurants but I mean they were mostly closed so the only space that I was using the most was my balcony and in one of the biggest cinemas in London as you can see that it's finally open let's see what can we watch today who, did, who, who directed That's that it. who directed that no clue uh, who huh? Christopher Nolan if you're planning to come in 2020 to London as a student, well, let's be honest, most likely you'll be asked to quarantine, which is definitely not ideal because basically in your first two weeks of uni life, you will spend them literally in your student accommodation and you won't be even able to go to do the groceries, but they will be so nice to provide you with someone that can help you do them for you. I'm sure it's not really how we imagine student life. So when it comes to the actual lectures, well, it really depends from university to university because I talk to different students and some of them actually have the classes completely online, others have 50% online, 50% offline, or others that are in smaller groups have their classes completely physical it within the classroom it really depends so just check your for your own case if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps me grow my channel and i just want to help more people like you and it just helps me beat this youtube algorithm that it's not really made for small youtubers like me so 
please help me beat it as I put so much effort into my little channel. If you're coming to London as a worker, then this is completely different because of course you're required to work first of all. I mean, obviously. To be honest with you, it might be a little bit tricky getting a new job at the moment, but we have our successful story of my friend Flavia that he has recently moved to London and she already found a job. Hi there. Oh, hi. I am Flavia. Actually, Flavia. Flavia. Just to tell you what is actually going on in here, basically the real Flavia, she actually exists. She couldn't make the video herself, but she sent us her answers. So Ben decided to read them for you and be the super nice actor and play Flavia of the situation. So I'm from Lake Naples, uh, which is in the south of Italy, and I've been working and living in London for the past three months. When did you move to London? Um, I moved to London on the 1st of July, and after two weeks of being in quarantine, I started working on the 15th of July. And was it hard for you to find a job here? Well, actually I was lucky enough to have a friend that like, was working in a nursery here in London. At their workplace they were looking for extra staff, you know, she gave me a call and like, I, I just decided to like, you know, come join her. And why did you decide to still come to London despite coronavirus and also Brexit coming in soon? Well, I always, when I was a, since I was a child, I always really dreamed to live in such a big metropolis as London. Plus, as we say, say in Italy, il treno passa una sola volta, which means uh, the train passes only once. So I decided to like catch this train. In this case, it was a plane. Uh -huh. And yeah, I decided to risk it despite the adverse times. You know, I really decided to like, you know go all in and like, let's see where you know this adventure will take me. Are you happy with oh, yeah. your decision? I'm really happy, you know, I got my job here, I got my friends, you know, like my family has my back. So like, if I had to go back in time, I would do the same all over again. Thank you so much, Flavia. It has been super nice having you on my channel. Oh, no problem. And one of the biggest and most hot topics uh, in the last two years in the UK has been Brexit. But for some reason, ever since coronavirus started, I feel like we haven't really talked about Brexit. But if you're coming from the EU, these three months are kind of the last three months that you can come into the country as a worker without having uh, any specific documents before. Then. Hurry and do this now, but again, just be very careful with the type of work that you're planning to do. Whereas if you're coming as a student, your taxes for university and might increase really want to go too much into depth uh, into the Brexit topic because it's such a broad topic. If you're actually curious about this, let me know in the comments down below and I can make a specific video about this. And one of the biggest and most hot topics about living in London is rent and the cost of living here. Prices of rent have actually slightly decreased and I would say you're definitely more likely to get a better deal if you come within the next months just because many people have left the city and uh, this is one of the few times when actually the demand is lower than the supply which basically means that there are more people that are moving up out then that they're moving in so landlords are actually willing to give you a discount when I moved in uh, in London it wasn't really like that there were just so many people that applied for the apartment where I'm living at the moment and basically they choose the best candidate with Ben we have been looking at a couple of houses and we saw that for the price that we are paying at the moment we can get such a better deal at the moment Price can get down with like a hundred or two hundred pounds which is just crazy like usually you can't even get it down with like 20 pounds however i just want to make a small note in here if you're planning to uh rent a whole apartment there are always a lot of requirements in terms of uh, what is your salary or uh, basically how much money you have saved so yeah i would definitely check this with the agencies to answer overall your question is it worth coming to london in 2020 or 2021 honestly if you're a student especially if you're coming from eu i would definitely tell you to come because we don't know if taxes for eu students are going to increase so 
definitely take this very very last chance of course if you're from the uk then this doesn't really apply to you however but if you're planning to come to the uk as a worker and you have thought of working as a waiter or uh, or in the travel industry or just in any shop as a sales assistant i wouldn't really suggest you doing so but of course it's totally up to you and you do you if you work in hospitals or as a care worker or in trade or in finance actually it might be super good time for you to come to the uk because i have seen a very high demand for those jobs but again who am i to say this so please do your own research and don't just take my words for granted because i work in fashion what do i know <laughs> If you find this information useful and you want to see more videos like that, don't forget to subscribe because I really appreciate and I'm super happy for every single one of you. Love you loads. Bye.